हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ टुडेज जीके लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डेज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वाज रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज द तालिस्मान साबरे एक्सरसाइज 2023 इज रिलेटेड टू ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स इंडिया एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड इंडिया और ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड यूनाइटेड किंगडम द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स Recently Australia's largest bilateral military exercise with United States exercise Talisman Sabre officially commenced on Friday 21st July which will go on till 4th August it is the largest exercise Talisman Sabre in terms of its geographical area and the number of participating partners the exercise aims to enhance interoperability and develop strong relationships between participating military forces it will involve field training exercise including force preparation and logistics activities amphibious landings ground force maneuvers air combat and maritime operations in addition to the united states forces from canada fiji france germany indonesia japan new zealand papua new guinea the republic of korea tonga and the united kingdom will participate in the exercise Personnel from India, the Philippines, Singapore and Thailand are attending as observers. Therefore option A is the correct answer. Now let's begin today's session. First question is consider the following statements regarding International Seabed Authority. One, it was established under the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Two, it was established to tackle incidents of sea piracy only. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A, one only. Recently, International Seabed Authority's member nations has agreed on a two-year roadmap for the adoption of deep sea mining regulations. The International Seabed Authority is an autonomous international organization established under the 1982 United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Hence, statement one is correct. ISA is the organization through which states parties to unclose organize and control all mineral resources related activities in the area for the benefit of human kind as a whole ISA has the mandate to ensure the effective protection of the marine environment from harmful effects that may arise from deep seabed related activities hence statement 2 is not correct therefore option A is the correct answer Next question is the National Geoscience Awards is instituted by which ministry Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers Ministry of Earth Sciences Ministry of Mines or Ministry of New and Renewable Energy The correct answer is option C Ministry of Mines Recently the President of India presented the National Geoscience Awards 2022 The award is instituted by the Ministry of Mines with the aim to honor individuals and teams for achievements and contributions in various fields of geosciences it also includes the study of natural disasters like landslides earthquakes floods and tsunamis the national geoscience award for lifetime achievement was conferred upon dr om narayan bhargava well known for his pioneering work in the himalayas spanning over the last four decades therefore option c is the correct answer Next question is consider the following statements regarding protection of children from sexual offences or pocso. One, a child under pocso is defined as any person below the age of 15 years. Two, the minimum age of consent in India is 18 years. Three, as per the Act, the term child only includes female child. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, two and three only, or one, two and three. The correct answer is option B two only. Recently the protection of children from sexual offences was in the news. The Protection of Children from Sexual Offences Act 2012 or Pocso Act is legislation which aims at protecting children from all types of sexual abuse. A child under Pocso is defined as any person below the age of 18 years. Hence statement 1 is not correct. Under the 2012 legislation the minimum age of consent is 18. Hence, statement two is correct. By defining a child as any person below the age of 18 years, the Pocso Act sets a gender-neutral tone for the legal framework available to child sexual abuse victims. Consequently, a child of any gender who has been sexually wronged has access to the remedies provided under the Act. 
Hence, statement 3 is incorrect. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the Securities and Exchange Board of India or SEBI. One, it was established as a statutory body in the year 1972. Two, it functions under the ambit of Securities and Exchange Board of India Act 1970. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. That is both the statements are incorrect. Recently, SEBI has announced its plan for the instantaneous settlement of trades in the securities market. The Securities and Exchange Board of India was constituted as a non-statutory body on April 12, 1988 through a resolution of the Government of India. The Securities and Exchange Board of India was established as a statutory body in the year 1992. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. The provisions of the Securities and Exchange Board of India Act 1992, 15 of 1992 came into force on January 30, 1992. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding leader of the opposition of the houses. One, the leader of the largest recognized opposition party is generally recognized as the leader of the opposition. Two, in table of precedence, leader of opposition of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha is above the judges of the Supreme Court. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, the Union Home Minister appealed to opposition leaders of both Houses of Parliament for their cooperation in the discussion on Manipur issue. The leader of the opposition is an important functionary of the House. He is given the status of minister in recognition of his importance. The leader of the largest recognized opposition party is generally recognized as the leader of the opposition. Hence, statement 1 is correct. In the table of precedence, opposition of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha hold the same position as the cabinet ministers of the union and chief ministers of states within their respective states. They are above the judges of the Supreme Court. Hence, statement 2 is also correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding African Union. 1. It was officially launched in the year 2012. 2. It is the successor of the Organization of African Unity. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently, the Prime Minister has proposal to make the African Union a permanent member of the G20. The African Union is a continental body consisting of the 55 member states that make up the countries of the African continent. It was officially launched in the year 2002, hence statement 1 is not correct. It is a successor to the Organization of African Unity, OAU, 1963-1999, to hence statement 2 is correct. The main objective of the OAU was to rid the continent of the remaining vestiges of colonization and apartheid. It also aims to promote unity and solidarity amongst African states. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding the star fire algorithm recently seen in the news. One, it has been developed by the scientist at Raman Research Institute. Two, it can estimate the radio frequency interference signals emitted by the Wi-Fi networks and mobile towers only. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option A, one only. Recently, a new algorithm developed by scientists that is capable of estimating and mapping the unwanted radio frequency interference signals in space. The scientists at Raman Research Institute, an autonomous institute of the Department of Science and Technology, have developed this algorithm called Starfire. Hence, statement 1 is correct. In order to study the early universe and its evolution, astronomers tune their radio antennas within the 40 to 200 megahertz range in search of the 21 centimeter hydrogen line. It can estimate the RFI emitted by FM radio stations, Wi-Fi networks, mobile towers, radar, satellites and communication devices. Hence, statement 2 is not correct. Therefore, option A is the correct answer. Next question is recently seen in the news. The Krishna Raja Sagar Dam is constructed on which of the following rivers? Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri or Narmada? 
द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी कावेरी रिसेंटली द वॉटर लेवल इन द कृष्ण राजा सागर अक्रॉस द कावेरी रिवर ब्रीज द इलेवन फीट मार्क इट वॉज इनिशियली कॉल्ड एज कन्नाम्बाडी काटे वॉज लेटर नेम डैश कृष्ण राजा सागर इन 1917 आफ्टर द किंग कृष्ण राजा ओडेया फोर द इंजीनियर्स एंड प्लानर्स ऑफ द अर्स्ट वाइल्ड माई सोर स्टेट कॉन्सेप्चुअलाइज द थॉट ऑफ दिस डैम द डैम वर्क वॉज कंप्लीटेड इन बिटवीन नाइनटीन इलेवन टू नाइनटीन थर्टी टू एट अ कॉस्ट ऑफ टू एंड हाफ करोड़ रुपीज द डैम इज एटी सिक्स हंड्रेड फीट इन लेंथ एंड वन थर्टी फीट इन हाइट द डैम हैज आर्क टाइप वन सेवेंटी सेवन आयरन स्लूसेज एंड सम ऑफ दैम हैव ऑटोमेटिक डोर्स देर फॉर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज समाइम सीन इन न्यूज द सफदर जंग टॉम वॉज बिल्ट ड्यूरिंग द रूल ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आजम शाह अहमद शाह बहादुर फरुख शियार और मोहम्मद शाह द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी अहमद शाह बहादुर रिसेंटली द ए एस आई ऑफिशियल्स इन्फॉर्म दैट द टॉम हैड डेवलप्ड क्रैक्स एंड गैप्स ओवर द पास टू ईयर्स एंड रिक्वायर्ड रूटीन रिपेयर्स द सफदर जंग टॉम विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड द टॉम ऑफ सफदर जंग और सफदर जंग का मकबरा इज अ मुगल एरा मोन्यूमेंट लोकेटेड इन द कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ डेली द टॉम वॉज बिल्ट इन द एटीन सेंचुरी ड्यूरिंग अहमद शाह बहादुर रूल द मोन्यूमेंट वॉज बिल्ट यूजिंग मार्बल एंड सैंड स्टोन द सफदर जंग टॉम वॉज बिल्ड बाय नवाब शौजत दौला इन सेवनटीन फिफ्टी थ्री टू फिफ्टी फोर देर फॉर ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द मिडल ईस्ट रेस्पिरेटरी सिंड्रोम कोरोना वायरस वन इट इज अजोनोटिक वायरस टू इट वॉज फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाइड इन सऊदी अरेबिया इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स गिवन अबव इज और आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉर टू The correct answer is option C, both one and two. Recently, the World Health Organization has confirmed a case of the potentially fatal Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus in Abu Dhabi. The MERS is a zoonotic virus that can transmit between animals and people. Hence, statement one is correct. The Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus was first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012. Hence, statement two is correct. According to WHO information people in Saudi Arabia mostly got infected through unprotected contact with infected dromedary camels the symptoms of the virus include fever coughing and shortness of breath and in some cases can lead to pneumonia therefore option C is the correct answer now it's time for the practice question Baikula railway station was recently seen in the news it is associated with which of the following states Maharashtra Sikkim Karnataka or Odisha Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.